Okay, welcome. So today our class will be a self-care class. It's beginner's yoga, it's for everyone, and uh, it's about connecting with our breaths and lubricating our body a bit. So that we conserve our ranges of motion, but also we get to improve them. It will not be too um, demanding when it comes to the physical effort, but it could be hard if you're not used to taking care of yourself, if you're not used to um, taking care of your body and breathing slowly. So we'll start with some belly breathing. You want to bring your hands to your lower belly, the part under your belly button. Close your eyes and breathe deeply into that part of your body. Make sure you're sitting comfortably and just breathe all the way down into your lower belly. If you don't feel it well comfortable to be on the ground, you can sit on a chair or you can place something under your hips to just elevate your pelvis and to be a bit more comfortable. We're going to breathe in for half the time that we breathe out. So exhale, breathe out. And then breathe in for three, two, one. Breathe out, six, five, four, three, two, one. In three, two, one. Out, six, five, four, three, two, one. In three, two, one. Out, six, five, four, three, two, one. In three, two, one. Out, six, five, four, three, two. Two more times. In three, two, one. Out, six, five, four, three, two, one. In three, two, one. Out, six, five, four, three, two, one. In, continue to have this idea. Out, breathing in and then breathing out slower. Release your arms, keep breathing. Slower exhale than your inhale. We'll do some foot massage. If you want to sit on a chair, that's fine. You can extend the left leg and bend the right knee with the ankle hovering freely or you can bend it slightly and even take the foot in. You want to place the fingers of the left hand all the way into the, the toes. You want to go deep in there. Your hands can fit there. You can do it. Maybe you've never tried it before, but you can do it. Get the toes to spread so that the fingers get deep in there. Keep sitting up tall and keep breathing in the way that we were breathing before. Now you want to use the hand to explore the range of motion of the foot. So all the way around. And remember, it's not the foot, it's the hand that starts the movement. If there's any point that needs some more care, you can stay there a bit longer. And then go the other way, clockwise and anticlockwise. Every breath nurtures the body. So breathe out, you release any tension. And breathe out slowly. Press the hands so that the fingers press onto the toes and then start to drag the fingers out slowly, slowly, so that you drag the toe bones out. Now using your thumbs, start to press against the ball of the foot. You can press and hold, 
you can just push and move on you can even pinch lightly with your fingers and if there's any point that needs more care that's what we're doing today we're observing and we're holding anything that needs to be held press on, on the bottom of the toe bones and then with the rest of the fingers press on top of the toes press press and hold push maybe there's, an, there's some point that needs some more care maybe you hear different sounds that's fine keep coming back to your breath breathing in more love and breathing out any tension you can then use the fingers on top of the foot to drag down the top of the foot okay, and then come back to the thumbs and press onto the sole of the foot this really feels good so press and hold it that arch really push really get it keep breathing slowly breathe in Breathe in, breathe out, really pushing with the fingers, getting a bit intuitive, pinching, holding, stay at any point that needs more care, and then come to the heel of the foot, use the thumb and the index finger to pinch, pinch and pull, pinch and drag. Use the sides of the foot, pull the back of the heel, and then form fists with the hands and pump. Pump the sole, the ball of the foot, the heel, the sides, and then open the palm and smack it. Smack it with love, keep breathing slowly. Go to the top of the foot, the sides, the back, and then come to the calf, the shin. Smack it with the love. And then smoothen it out. Smoothen it out. I like to say that this is your commercial product. Commercial. So go for it, cosmetic product commercial. This is your moment. Yes, those legs. Good. And let's switch side. If you want to, you can stand up and see how this affected your whole right side. Not just the foot. If you stand up, you feel it on the whole right side, being more flexible. If you extend the legs, being more balanced. And of course, being more relaxed. Again, what you want with the left ankle is to hover freely. Don't lock it on top of the thigh. You can find any variation. You can even come to sit in, on a chair. Bring the fingers all the way into the toes, all the way. You can use the other hand to help you to get the knuckles even in the toe gaps. And once you're there, start to rotate by the hand. Keep your face relaxed and breathe into the ankle as we're experimenting with the range of motion you can go slower just allow the exhale to be slower than the inhale and then go the other way foot massage is a great way to ground yourself if you ever feel that it's too much and today our class is on self-care because especially at this time this point in time so much is happening with the work it's important to keep coming back to ourselves, to our body, taking care of ourselves, loving ourselves radically. Press the fingers and drag the toe bones up. Slow it, slow. Yeah, yeah. And then using the thumb, press onto the ball of the foot. You press, you press and fold, you pinch. point of like in a sweet spot you can hold it this is your massage you do it as it feels right for you you can 
press at the top of the toe bones with the rest of the fingers. Press, push, lead, nurture. And you can drag the toes, the fingers down the toes, down the top of the feet. And come back to your toe and press with the thumb. Press, press and hold. Push it, push it. Get it, get it. Breathe into it. Breathe out. Relax the face, breathe in. Breathe out slower. Come to the heel, use the thumb and the index finger to pinch, pinch and pull, pinch and drag it out of the foot, pinch the size of the heel and drag it out, and then pinch and pull sides of the foot, back of the heel, and then form fists with the hand, pound it, keep breathing. Get and then pump, smack it. The sides, the top, the back, and the calf. Shin. Make sure you're sitting comfortably again. Cross legged, half lotus, full lotus, sitting on a chair, sitting on a block, sitting on a cushion, sitting on a blanket. Whatever works for you, a kneeling position is also perfect. Wherever you are, you want integrity with your body, so reach up by reaching the pubic bone back. Pubis back, chest proud, pull the shoulders back and the shoulder blades down the back. For the next couple of exercises, very important to keep the shoulder blades down the back. Shoulder blades are those wings at the upper back. So we imagine those two triangles. You want to keep them pulling down, down. So the shoulders are back and the shoulder blades are down. Keep the back of the head proud, reaching up. Keep the belly strong, reaching up. Keep the sit bones grounding down, the pubis moving back. Good. Staying here with the body, just lift the arms, straighten the arms, open up the palms, and then bring the fingers together. And then open up the palms, and then bring the fingers together. Open wide, really open the fingers wide, really push away through the wrist, and then bring the fingers together, and then go fast. Every time you open the fingers, you really open the fingers. You really open up the palm. Don't cheat. Breathe slowly, but move quickly. Move even quicker with the fingers, really spreading them wide. Make it your challenge to go faster than you've ever gone. Very quickly, open up and close, but really open up and really close. Keep the arms straight, keep the shoulder blades down. 10 more breaths, slow breaths. Slower exhale, go faster. Nine. Go faster. Eight. Stay with it. Seven. Really open up. You can feel it. It's burning. Six. This is what love feels like. Self care session today. Show yourself some fire. Five. Go really open. Really open. Four. Open up wide, feel the forearms working. Three, keep opening up. Two, and pick it up. 
and one bend the elbows roll the left wrist but in a gentle fist you want the thumb and the index finger of the right hand to hug the wrist and then go around slowly very slowly a soft fist just exploring the range of motion of the wrist one way so really extend and flex breathe in and breathe out and then go the other way breathe in engage the whole body and breathe out keep the body engaged breathe out slowly and explore the range of motion with a strong body and go back to the first rotation and then back to the other way switch wrist start slowly exploring the range of motion and the other way working, the arms working, breathe out even slower, keep the body engaged as you roll the wrist one way and the other, really flex and really extend the wrist, good, take your palm, left palm out, open up the fingers, you pull back the thumb and you pull back the index finger and you pull back the middle finger and you pull back the ring finger and you pull back the pinky finger keep pushing away through the wrist and keep in integrity in your body go again breathe slowly one last time push away through the wrist and pull back through the fingers and just pull the Thumb back, push away through the palm, breathe. And then the four fingers, pull back, breathe. The thumb. And then the four. Good. Stay with it. Now the hand to drag up the fingers and then slowly start releasing and flex bring the fingers face down palm facing you push away through the wrist keep the shoulder blades down the back remember what we we're saying about the integrity of your body you're working with your core just by sitting up straight and that's a principle you want to remember throughout your daily lives when you're sitting on a desk, when you're sitting on a chair, when you're sitting on the ground, or when you're standing up, if you keep that posture straight and strong, you're building up your deep core, you're staying healthy. Pull back a bit more, push away through the wrist. Pull the shoulder blades down, breathe in, breathe out. Slowly start to release the pressure with the hand and let's switch sides. Open up the right hand, push forward through the wrist, pull back through the fingers and start pulling one finger back at a time. Use your breath to nurture your body. time. Allow the exhale to be longer than the inhale. Double the time. And then bring the thumb back, pushing away through the wrist, pulling back through the fingers, and then bring the four fingers back, pushing away through the wrist, pulling down through the shoulder blades. Thumb back, keep the belly strong, reaching out through the chest, 
reaching out through the back of the scalp, fingers pulled back. And last time. Breathe. Good, slow, let go and flex. Push forward to the wrist. Keep the hand just neutral, plain, and pull back. Shoulder blades down, head relaxed, forehead relaxed, or uh, eyebrows relaxed, jaw relaxed. And push a bit more through the wrist, pull a bit back with the hand, pull the shoulder blades down, really breathe it out slower. Breathe in, breathe out slower. Push away to the wrists. And then we'll slowly allow the hand to release and come back to see it. Good. Let's, uh, let's show our necks some love. Remember. Pull shoulders back and shoulder blades down. If you're not feeling comfortable, you can switch the legs, you can switch the seat. We'll be here for a bit more. Now from here, what you want to do is, guess what? To pull the shoulders back and to pull the shoulder blades down the back. And to remind yourself to keep those actions because a lot will be happening with the neck and it will be easy to shrug the shoulders up. Keep the shoulders back and the shoulder blades down. From here, we we'll bring our right hand under the right collarbone, under it, and then we we'll place the left hand on top. We want to pull the skin down and towards the right, so away from the neck, and then bring our head towards the left, away from the hands, and diagonally up. Remember to keep the shoulder blades down, and you can shift the chin a bit higher, a bit lower, a bit further into a twist, just find the, the sweet spot where you're feeling it. And then breathe into the right neck. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out slower. One more breathe. Breathe out slower. Slowly allow the skin to come back and the head to turn back in your shoulder. Very slowly, no rush. Pull the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down, bring the left hand under the left collarbone, the right hand on top of the left hand. Keep the shoulders back, shoulder blades down, pull the skin down and towards the left, away from the sternum, and bring the head to the right and slightly up. Remember to keep the shoulder blades down and to lift the chin as much as you want to so that you feel it and to twist a bit more if you need to. Relax the eyebrows, breathe into the left neck. Breathe out. Keep the belly strong, keep the sit bones grounded. Breathe in. One last one. Breathe. Breathe out. Slowly release the hands and slowly bring the head back to center. Stay with your breath, with your count. From here we'll bring the right shoulder, the right, ah, that's the thing, not the right shoulder the right ear to the right shoulder. The shoulder wants to stay back and down. Do not shrug the shoulder. Just bring the ear towards it. it. Might not be a big movement, but you want to feel that stretch of the left neck. Relax the face and again maybe shift the back of the head a bit further to the back so you feel it a bit more. Keep the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down. And from here we'll bring the Right hand on top of everything and 
top of everything. So that's like the top left corner of your head, but now as you're shifting, it's on top of everything. And then from here, the head is trying to come back to center, but the hand is resisting. So keep the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down, and push up with the head. Keep the face relaxed and breathe in. Breathe out, push a bit more. The more you push with the head, the more you'll feel it. Keep pushing with the head, breathe in. And breathe out. Push more with the head. The hand does not push, the hand resists. Breathe in. And breathe out. Good. Breathe in and tell the hand to stop resisting as much so that the hand, the head can come back. Breathe out, release. Shoulders back, shoulder blades down, left ear to left shoulder. Again, move the head a bit towards the back to find that sweet spot. Pull the shoulder blades down to find that length. Bring the left hand on top, keeping the left shoulder back and the shoulder blades down. Push up through the head and resist with the hand. Breathe into the right knee. Breathe up, push more. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. Push more, push more, resist with the hand. And then breathe in. Keep pushing until the hand to stop resisting as much so that the head can come back to center. And breathe out here. Perfect. Head turns to the right. Keep the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down. We'll bring the right hand against the left cheek. And the head again is trying to come back to center while the hand is resisting. Keep the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down and push with the head. Breathe in. Breathe out, push with the head. Keep the shoulder blades down, the back of the head. Lifting up, breathe in. Breathe out, keep pushing with the head as you're grounding down through your pelvis and you're keeping the belly engaged, lifting the chest up, breathe in. Breathe out, push more with the head. Push it, push it, feel it, feel it, feel it. And then breathe in and slowly Allow the head to come forward just by limiting the resistance that the hand is exerting. Other side, bring your head to face the left. Keep the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down, and bring your left hand against the right cheek. Once you feel that you have the integrity with the shoulder blades down and the back of the head high, press with the head against the hand. The hand is just like a wall there. It's there just to stop it. And the head is pushing strongly. Breathe in. Breathe out. Push more if you want to feel it more. Breathe in. Again, you can feel like you're engaging the whole body. And breathe out. Push it in more with the head. The hand resists. Breathe out slowly. Breathe in. And breathe out slowly, keep pushing, 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 push harder, harder, harder. And then breathing, allow the head to come back just by decreasing the resistance of the hand. Good. Bring the chin to the chest, and then bring the right ear towards the right shoulder, and then bring the chin back to the chest. And then bring the left ear to the left shoulder. Chin to chest, keep the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down, ear to right, chin to chest. Breathe as you roll, don't go back, just forward. Go slower if you need to. And bring the chin up. 
two movements now, opening the mouth long and then wide. Index and middle fingers of the right hand have helped to add more pressure. So you want to press the chin down and then keep pulling it down as you open the mouth wide. Keep the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down and the back of the skull reaching up. Just breathe slowly with the exhale longer and do six repetitions. Opening the mouth long and wide. And repeat. You're breathing in and out through the nose and the face is relaxed. Two more. Keep the shoulders back and the shoulder blades down. And if you want more, press more with the fingers. Last one. Good. Close your mouth. Bring your head down. Chin in. Form a face with the hand and press against the forehead. This time the fist is pushing and the head is resisting. Keep the shoulder blades down, relax the eyes and push with the arm. Breathe in, breathe out slowly. Push away through the hand, breathe in. Keep the shoulder blades down, breathe out slower. Breathe in, keep pushing with the hand. Chin is in, breathe out. Three lion's breaths here. So stay here, keep pressing with the fist, breathe in, and breathe out, stick the tongue out, make a hissing sound. Two more. Keep pushing with the fist. Come on, don't be embarrassed, do it. And then allow the fist to push the head up and come back to neutral. Whole head rolls, chin in. Let's bring the chin to the right first, then the right ear to the right shoulder. Then go around, left ear to the left shoulder, left ch chin to the left shoulder, and then chin back to the chest. Two more times, chin to the right, ear to the right, back, keep the shoulder blades down, left, and to the front, last one, right, keep the eyebrows relaxed, go around, take your time, keep the shoulder blades down, just move with the cervical spine, with the neck. Don't feel any pressure with the shoulder blades. Shoulder blades are relaxed. And then go the other way. Chin to the left. Ear to the left. Head back. Rolling around slowly. Careful. Ear to the right. Chin to the right. Front. Chin left. Ear. Go slower if you need to. Keep breathing. Go around. Ear. Chin. And to the front, last one. Keep breathing slowly, keep the shoulder blades down the back. And four. And up with the chin. Come to all fours. Cat cow. Very, very slowly. Don't follow your breath. Breathe slowly and move with the spine. I'm curling the tailbone, pulling the belly in, pull back through the hands to arch the middle back, the upper back, and finally bring the chin up. Then curl the tailbone under, stay with the chest proud, just the pelvis moving. Pull the belly in, ribs in, push forward through the hands, widen the shoulder blades. 
round your whole back and then bring the chin in. Two more times. So right I'm curling the tailbone. Keep breathing slowly. Go back through the hands. And then involve the lower back with the belly engaged so that the lower back is safe. The chest, brow, pull the shoulders back, open up the chin. Hold it for a breath, pulling back through the hands, pushing forward through the knees, arch a bit more. And then round through the tailbone. Start with the pelvis tilting. Keep the belly in, strong belly, pulling the lower belly in. Start to round through the lumbar, through the cervical spine, one vertebra at a time. You pull back through the knees, push forward through the hands, round a bit more and find this rounded position. Breathe here first. Breathe out, push away through the hands, through the knees, and then start to hand curl the tailbone. One vertebra at a time. Be meticulous, be specific. Open up. Breathe love into every vertebra. And once you're there, take a breath. Pull back through the hands, push forward through the knees. And then round through the pelvis, lower back. Keep the belly in, keep breathing. Some more love into the gaps in between the vertebra. Fill your spine with love, find a round position to push forward to the hands, back through the knees. And then bring your head to the ground slowly. We want to place the crown of the head to the ground and exhale. And we want to round the back and pull up through the shoulder blades. Inhale and roll onto the forehead, keeping the, the top of the back rounded. And exhale to the top of the head. So keep a round body, breathe into the forehead and breathe out, crown of the head, massaging the back, massaging the head, breathe in, breathe out slower, three more, take your time, follow your breath. Keep the shoulder blades away from the head. Feel the contact of your head with the ground. And as you breathe in, imagine that you're breathing in through that contact, getting energy from the air. And as you breathe out, imagine that you're breathing out through the crown of the head, giving up anything you don't need. One last time, breathe in. Allow earth to nurture you. Feel the love without. And let go of anything you don't need. Let earth have it. Breathe in and go back. Tuck the toes, child's pose. Slowly shifting the weight to the heels with the toes tucked. If you want to have to feel a bit more of a stretch with the foot, keep pressing back through the heels to flex the foot. Breathe in here, breathe out through the mouth. Breathe in here, widen the shoulder blades, press the hips back, breathe out through the mouth. Last one, breathe in. Send the heels back, breathe out. Slowly breathe in and shift the weight forward, move the knees back and come to lie down on your belly. You want to rest? You can pull the belly forward so that the lower belly pulls forward and you can bring the foreheads on the forearms. If forehead on forearms is not comfortable for you, you can place a block or a cushion under the forehead or you can move the head to one way. Arms can be on your sides or keep them extended. If the elbows are up and your forearms are stuck, then widen the shoulder blades. If the arms are by your sides, then it's fine to just 
narrow the shoulder blades down, but think of pushing the shoulders onto the ground first, pulling the shoulder blades back, and then lifting them up. If your elbows are overhead, then the shoulder blades can be quite lifted, quite elevated, just keeping you wide in the shoulder blades. Your heels turn out to the sides, or your toes turn out to the sides. Just don't hold the heels up. Don't use any engagement. We want to allow the body to completely relax. You can find a slight posterior pelvic tilt, which means that the pubic bone presses down and reaches forward towards the chin, lengthening the lower back. And then remember to pull the ribcage in and forward so you find length with the body. I repeat. So you can curl the tailbone under, pressing the pubis down so that the lower back lengthens. And then you want to pull the lower belly in and even use the hands if you want to, to pull the belly forward to lengthen through the lower belly. Once you do all of these actions, you can relax. Breathe into the belly, press the belly onto the ground. Breathe out slowly. Breathe into the belly, press belly down, sides of the belly expand, even the lower back expands up. Breathe out slowly through the nose. Keep the face relaxed. Chin slightly tucked in, breathe. And breathe out, shoulder blades wide. Good. If you're comfortable here, you can do Shavasana, the relaxation pose here. You can stay here. If you prefer, you can bring the arms by your sides, like I was saying before. You can place something under the forehead or just rest here. You can even bring the chin forward. Just make sure that you're not pinching the neck. If you choose to bring the head to one side, again, make sure that your shoulder blades are cooling down. And when we come out, one of the first things you'll do is switch the head. So remember to do that when you start moving the body again so that you get some stretch on the other side. If none of these face down positions work for you, turn around, turn to the side or turn face up. Find a position that works for you. If you're lying face up in a more traditional Shavasana, you can place something under your knees to lengthen the lower back. You can also simply bend the knees and bring them together with the feet apart. Make it comfortable. Once you find what works for you with gentle movement, make sure that the lower back is long with a slight posterior tilt. Make sure that the back of the neck is long, pulling the shoulder legs away and reaching the back of the head forward. Then breathe in, one last controlled deep breath. And breathe out through the mouth ever so slowly. Release. From now on, allow your breath to be natural. If you find any tension still occurring in the body, just think of the natural exhale taking it away, sending it down to the center of the earth. And even if the stiffness is still there, just come back to the feeling of surrendering. Trusting Mother Earth, feeling the pull of gravity. Every exhale takes you closer and closer to the center of the Earth.
very, 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 very gently come back to your breath. Breathe into the belly. the belly, breathe out through the nose, bring more awareness to your feet and hands and head, breathe in into the toes, the fingers, the crown of the head, feel a tickling sensation, and as you breathe out, slowly turn that sensation into movement, if your head is on one side, slowly, very, very gently, with bring it to the other side keep breathing slowly move your fingers move your hands move your feet and start to move your arms and legs take your time take your time to wake up the whole body you can Stretch the limbs, reaching away through arms and legs, maybe slightly back bending, slightly flexing the spine, slightly twisting, just waking up the whole body. You can start moving the head from side to side. You can take your time if you're face down, you can use the hands to push and come to a child's pose. If you're face up or to the side, you can bring your knees to your chest. Maybe rock a bit from side to side. And take your time, eventually you'll come up to a seated position. There's no need to open the eyes, you don't rush it. You take your time, you breathe and you enjoy every moment of it, being present. Once you're sitting up straight, you want to remind yourself to send your six bones all the way down while sending your pubic bone all the way back. Pull the belly in and up, the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down and the back of the scalp up. Relax the eyebrows, breathing deeply from the pelvis all the way up to the crown. And breathe out through the mouth, release. Don't collapse the body, keep the integrity breathing. Breathe out. Breathe out, bring your palms to your heart. Pull the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down. Reach the back of the head up. Take a bow to feel good. Remember to radically love yourself, radically care about yourself. To radically put yourself first. There's nothing selfish about taking care of yourself. That's the way to go. When you take care of yourself, when you shine bright, then you're giving other people permission to shine bright too. So keep shining bright. The light inside me honors and celebrates the light inside you. Namaste. I bow to you. like to take some time to meditate or to be quiet that's perfect if you want to rest a bit more that's perfect enjoy your day and let me know if there's any suggestions comments questions i'm here